All right, episode 10, again. Um, I'm Mr. Dawes. This is my friend who you might remember from the very first episode of Dawes Cast. Yep. Returning for a special episode of Dawes Cast. So, I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Death Cab. I'm a rapper from Belfair. And, uh, yeah. Let's get into it. So, um... A lot of you are probably wondering why not there Dawes Cast for, like, all of July. Well... You see, we had filmed episode 10, and then my PC crashed, and I, the file for the video that we recorded was still there. For some reason, I couldn't access it, though, and if I uploaded it, it would just say error. So, there was no uh, Dawn's Cast episode for that, and I decided, nah. I wanted to have him back for an episode, episode 10, but it was kind of hard getting our schedules down, and on top of that, for some reason, our equipment wasn't working well. So, uh, now we're back here with episode 10, and hopefully you guys can forgive me for uh, just dipping out on Don's cast, but now that I have more time off, perhaps we'll see more episodes. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. I, I decided I, I'm no longer doing episodes by myself, because the last time I tried to do that, I was just like, guys, I have no idea what the fuck to do here. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Of course, it doesn't help that I mess with the Discord every now and then. I'm like, hey, who's up for a Dawes cast? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good talk. We made some solid ground. Uh, we'll continue this conversation never. <laughs> yeah, I should probably be more active on that, too. I just haven't been, I've been busy. I see the messages and I'm like, I should reply. Oh, wait. Okay. Doing <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So, um,. Yeah, content-wise, what's going on? Well, um, so, let's see. So, I've got a couple of different projects I'm working on. Um, one of them's getting close to being completed, so I'm not going to give too much away. But, yeah, we got that. Um, my rap group's back together. I don't know if we talked about that in the last one, but Dead Man Society is back, so hopefully we can get the boys over to do a Dallas Cast episode with them. That'd be pretty cool. Well, like, like I said, any, anything we said in the last episode is gone because couldn't get the file to work. That's right, yeah. So Dead Menace Society has returned. So we got the boys back working on music. Um, one of our guys is in Texas right now, but he should be moving back here to Washington. So Damn, it's like everyone's in Texas. I know, dude. It's crazy. So we should be getting him back soon so we can... They're going to move into an apartment and get some stuff going. Um... I just put out the video for Change Lanes so on YouTube, so you guys should go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's just Death Cab on YouTube. You find that. Um, got got an EP dropping September 1st, it seems like, so it's going to be three new songs that nobody's heard yet. Really excited for that. going to put it out on all, all platforms, so stay tuned for that. And then I got this mixtape that I'm working on, too. So. Everything's going good. What about you? Um, right now, I've made enough content to last me to September 1st. So, I do need to get back into uh, making videos again, though, since, uh, you know, August is just about over. Yep. Even though it just, just started. Um, but it'll be over soon enough, I'm sure. Um, so, I have a couple of video ideas in mind that I want to do. Skits and whatnot. Since I finally have time off now, I've returned to making TikToks again because for the longest time, I uh, think back in like February, I think, I just, the work got so hectic that I was like, guys, I gotta cut something out. And trying to do Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok all at the same time while also working the job I was working six days a week. Ugh. Yeah, no. Didn't have time, didn't have the energy. I was really pissed at a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> There'd be times that I would just like get them to do a live stream and I'd just be like, fuck this shit, I gotta do a live stream. God! <laughs> right. So, but, I mean, Tuesday when I did my live stream, uh, I had to work that day, but I only had to work four hours. And I don't know what it, maybe it was just the time I had off, but I like got home and did a live stream and I was like, you know what? I feel really good. Good. And then I went to work the next day, and I was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate discomfort. Yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yesterday's live stream, last night's live stream, I don't know if any of y'all caught that, 
but uh, me and the bestie, uh, Sweek, we did a uh, Horde Night live stream. We tried to play Phasmophobia, but for some reason the game kept crashing on us. Uh -huh. And then I was like, screw it, I'm just going to switch over to Gmod. And as I'm getting ready to make the switch, my whole PC just shuts off. I'm like, wow, <laughs> what did Faz do to me? So we oh. ended up playing uh, Gmod instead, and, like the first 20 minutes of the live stream. Turns out my mic wasn't on. Oh no. So thankfully I had a person chat, Cody, thank you very much, uh, who pointed out to me like, hey, your mic isn't on. I was like, ah, crap. So yeah, that was interesting. Mm. Sounds like some more technical difficulties nonsense. Yeah, yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> Hate that stuff. This is why I need a team of experts to do everything for me, because clearly I can't do it myself. <laughs> I, I agree with that, man. Like, I need a team of experts, too. Doing this stuff by yourself is rough, especially yeah. when you're trying to start a business from, like, nothing. Yeah. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of time. I remember, um, I don't know if it was when I first started streaming or whatever, but some point when I was streaming, I went to hit start live stream, and I saw like an error message pop up saying low bandwidth, mm. and I was like, oh no, what does that mean? And I like just felt panicked, and Stefan, my brother, he just went, that's uh, it just means your Wi-Fi isn't all that great. I was like, oh well, yeah, what's new? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, recently I was able to film a couple TikToks with my days off, and uh, so I'm really glad to get back and make a TikToks again because. Like I said, content creating is something that I want to do, and I don't want to just do it in one place, because I, I think TikTok is good for, like, short videos, unlike YouTube trying to do their short stuff. It's just a rip-off of TikTok, honestly. It is. But, um, uh, yeah, that's what I have those videos for, and then I have, like, you know, actual food reviews and uh, skit ideas and uh, edits of, like, live streams I've done in the past. Yeah. That's so. awesome, man. Should be uh, looking pretty good here pretty soon. There you go. And now, Dawscast finally come back every Thursday, hopefully. There you go, man. Just gotta make sure I can get people on Discord. Yep. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned for that. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. It's been a little bit. Last couple times, like, it's been awful trying to do it over the internet for some reason. Yeah. Just either crappy internet or. Uh, you not hearing me, even though I can hear you just fine. Yeah, like, I, all I do is I turn on my PC, flip open my webcam, plug in my USB mic, and I'm, I'm ready to go, so I don't know. Yeah. And, and Discord was picking me up, and uh, everything was working. Yeah. And my, my first live stream back, actually, I don't know like what I did wrong, but my first live stream back, I was playing Black Mesa, and I was really excited to uh, play that game. Because mm -hmm. I've been wanting to stream it for a while now. And um, I get on, start the live stream, and I'm, pl I'm playing through it. And I know my mic was on because I turned it on, and I even saw like it was picking me up just fine. Mm -hmm. And then I, I made some jokes in that live stream. That I was like, hey, I want to go back and clip that, actually. So I went back, and I'm like, where's my audio? Oh, no. And I know my mic was on because there are like, certain points where it's like, I'm like, why am I whispering? <laughs> and it's ridiculous because, like, this is my mic right here. Oh, yeah. Blue it's Yeti. a blue snowball. I do blue have snowball. a yeah. pop filter for it, but I took it off because it was really quiet. Yeah. I'm, like, right here. This is where the mic sits usually, and I'm right here. This close. And yet, when I was, like, listening to myself, the playback audio was like, man, this thing is really fucking quiet for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Oh, wow. So I'd get this close. Can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, dude. That's a that's a really good mic, actually, too. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know, man. Blue it's mix so stuff, weird. And so does Audio Technica, which is this one that we're using right now. It's weird because, like, the reason I got this pop filter was because um, months back, um, the Blue Snowball, for some reason, was really loud. Like, I was bass boosted, even though I was further away from it than usual. Yeah. Yep. And I realized that when I was like went, went back to watch one of my uh, live streams and make a clip, and I was like, man, I'm really loud. And I tested the audio, and I'm like, what the hell happened? It's like the the mic cannot make up a mind of its own, you know? Yeah. Because when I first got it, I'll admit, I was stupid. I didn't realize there were mic settings. I just figured you plug it in, it would pick you up. Yep. So I didn't realize I had to set my own volume to something. Yep. And it wasn't until like months later that I was like, oh, there's a volume setting right here. 
why doesn't it say that? Why does it say volume mi- oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mics, like, deal with mics and stuff, man. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, or if you're first starting out, it, it takes a little bit to dial yourself in. Yeah. Like, even when I go to make music, like, something's always different, and you're like, what the hell? You know what I mean? You gotta fucking sit there and turn all the knobs and fuck with the dials, and then you're finally ready to go after, like, 10, 15 minutes of just sitting there messing with shit. Yeah. So, when it comes to that, when it comes to music, it's all, it's all about dialing your voice in. So, I can't even use my USB mic to make music after I, that's the reason I bought it, is because there's so much latency. So I have to use like a normal XLR cable and use a real mic, but I use like an SM57 right now. It works pretty good. But a Boeing 747? Huh? A Boeing 747? <laughs> no, no. Uh, uh, sure, SM57. Ah. Yeah. That's a good mic. Durable, really, uh, it's a dynamic microphone, so you don't have to, you know, it's not a condenser, but it works really well. Recording music. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't know. But, um, you can see I got my streamer set up here. Yeah. I got my webcam, my other webcam. Uh, and then you got the little, uh, fluffy things. Oh, the soundproofing. It's the soundproofing, yeah. Yep. <laughs> fluffy things. Uh, yeah, man. It only came in, uh, things of 12, so. Why it is all you see is just those ones on the wall and nowhere else. <laughs> yeah. This room wasn't very echoey in the beginning, but people told me like, hey man, you're kinda echoing and then I got those and I, I don't hear it, but I didn't hear it before either, so I'm like, is it still echoing? I don't know, I don't hear anything. Yep. <laughs> Sounds completely normal to me, but who knows? Might just be me. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it that people don't think about. So yeah, I hear that. Um, I have a, so instead of using like the phone, I have like a little thing that goes around my microphone on the stand. Mm -hmm. and it's basically the same thing. It's like a, it's called like a vocal booth. And then there's also this thing that you can put directly on your microphone called a Chaotica Eyeball. And it's like this little, it's basically the same thing. It just goes like right on it. It has a pop filter in the front. Yeah. So you can get those too. Um, yeah, that's okay. something I'm looking to get. I would like to get something for my blue snowball seeing as how I can tell. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just so, a red solo cup with duct tape on it because it broke. <laughs> oh, the stand broke? The the original stand I had for it, um, this is back when I was still living, living on Mason Lake, mm -hmm. um, and all my equipment was in my room, whereas now some of it is like in a closet out there or something like that. Yeah. And I was moving that, that big ass ba bass amp I have. Okay. Um, and I was moving it, and I set it down right on the mic stand, not realizing that I did that, oh. and uh, broke it in two. Oh, man. So I was like, damn, I gotta find a replacement, but you can't find just, like, the mic stand itself. Uh, which, yeah. to be fair, it was, like, a cheap plastic piece of shit, so that's why I like to get, like, one of those ones that you can, like, move and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, I don't know what, the, like, the official name for those are, but, yeah, that's the kind of ones I want. Like a, like a real, like, like stage mic stand? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, okay. Does it, um, how does, does it just screw on? Hmm? Does it just screw on? Yeah. Okay. That kind of like this one? Or, yeah. That one's weird. Yeah. Mine, mine is like a, it's got these three little legs and it just screws on to, yeah. the, to this mic. Is this, this isn't the same stand though, is it? No. Yeah, I didn't no. think so. I remember when I got it, it, like, this thing, it's still a little janky, that's why I'm worried to, like, touch it, but, like, mm -hmm. it's so weird that, like, if I just slightly touch it or if it tries to, like, move or anything like that, it just falls over. Yep, mine does the same thing. It's just like, I don't remember his mic doing that, but... Yeah. I think you had a better stand than I did, so... Yeah, mine's made out of metal, and it's funny because the, even this one is even set up differently, too. How so? It's, um, like, the buttons are different, um, and it has... I, it doesn't have the the cord that goes straight to the phone, so I had to get a little piece for it. It only has the USB. Yeah, this one came with like yeah, you know, this one came with like the USB C and the USB C. Mm -hmm. It also came with a USB C and a USB. Yeah, huh? So, that's weird. I was like, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I think you got a newer model than I did. I knew no, I would have got this one if I knew that. Mm. But yeah, these mics are pretty durable too. You can drop them and they'll be fine. Yeah, well. 
give it a few years and you'll need a replacement and then you'll buy the newer model and you're like, man, this didn't come with the old one. <laughs> yep. Yep. I mean, I remember when my, my, my Elgato game catcher crapped out on me, I had to buy a replacement because I was like, this thing is so old, it, 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 it just, it's gone, it's fried. Yep. Um, and I bought this, the current one that I have now and um, the uh, current one that I got was like much more smaller, thinner, and seemed to load a little quickly too. Uh, so that was pretty nice. There you go, man. That's awesome. And it, what's funny is the game that it crapped out on me the most was Minecraft. <laughs> and I was like, you can't, it's even telling me like, cannot render graphics or whatever. And I went, yeah. it's Minecraft. <laughs> what do you mean you can't render this graphics? How is it so extreme? But then I kind of thought of it. I was like, wait a minute. This thing was made for Xbox One and anything prior. Yeah. I'm playing on an Xbox Series, or Xbox, I believe it was an Xbox One X that I had at the time. Uh, yeah. That's funny. Yeah, man. So, so, so that's the new, the newest Xbox? Yep, that's the Series X. How do you like it? Oh, it, it's great. I think it runs really fast. The games boot up really well. Uh, downloading speeds seem to be cut in half. Damn. Um, it's kind of funny because I also have a 360 out there, mm -hmm. so every now and then I'll like hop on that, um, and like you can clearly just tell like the difference in speeds and downloads and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny. Does it play all the old games too? Uh, there are certain like few that it won't play. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. that's why I kind of like got the the original Xbox and the 360 there because there are a few games that excuse me there are a few games that it, um, doesn't play. I don't know if they're if Microsoft is ever going to add them. I would think not because I feel like the more they add, the more their console is going to break. <laughs> yeah. And on top of that, it's like some of the old games they will be adding, or I don't know, might add. Um, just they're so old. It's like who's going to play this game anymore? You know. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, man. That's pretty sick. I was saying, I really want to get one, but I just don't have any money to buy that one right now. Yeah. I don't even know if you can find them anymore. Oh, I remember when I tried to buy one, um, my family and I were on our way to Texas, and um, it just I was just checking the uh, the stock of them, like every swap. Every morning I'd wake up, I'd check the stock, mm -hmm. and it'd be like, uh, Best Buy sold out as of 8.19. When they get restocked, 8. Uh, Walmart sold out as of 8.09. They were restocked at 8. Uh, Target sold out as of 8.01. They were restocked at 8. And I was like, Jesus. Wow. So it's like, you know, all these people were either buying them or the, the, those people who would buy them and try to sell them like a thousand. Mm -hmm. How much were they? They were 500. Oh, wow. And there's actually a really cool... Uh, Halo Edition console that I kind of want to trade this one out for. Mm -hmm. Nothing special other than that it's just a Halo console, but I mean, I, Halo's my favorite game, so I, I would love to like have a BAM Halo Edition console like that one. Yeah, that, that one's sick. Yeah, that one. Hell yeah, that one was like super hard. I'm so glad I got that one because those ones, I want to say, are pretty rare. I mean, I, I usually don't see them go for less than 500. And the one I found was just the console and a controller, and it was being sold for like 200. I talked the guy down to like 150. So that was pretty nice. Yeah, it's epic, dude. And that's that big honking controller that goes with it. Yeah. The one that does that one work with the Xbox One too? No. No, that's just the big funky one. Yeah, that's the original Duke controller. Yeah. Which I personally love the Duke controllers because. Um, well, here's my problem with PlayStation. Sure. Yeah, basically, most newer controllers nowadays, they're just a bit too small for me. Yeah, you got big hands, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that guy. I could make a joke about how the women love me, but they don't. <laughs> and then this thing just, God, I could bash someone's skull with this thing and yeah. kill them instantly. It's <laughs> awesome. The Duke. Right. Hell yeah. Microsoft knew what they were doing. Oh yeah. But you know, people were like, I can't get my hands wrapped around it. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> no, that's funny. And then there's How's that one? Xbox One. It's alright. Um 
But what really pisses me off about these controllers, though, uh, I bought, or I didn't buy it, uh, Blake bought me a uh, Xbox uh, Elite Series 1 controller. Sure. And it's like one of their, I don't, I don't know, newest or whatever, but it's it's like over $100, and they're supposed to be really good. Yeah. And he bought that for me for Christmas. Oh, wow. And then, like, I played it for maybe a month, and we didn't get a warranty, we didn't keep the receipt, Oh no. and the controller stopped working. And I can't, to this day, I'm like, why did it just suddenly stop? And people are, I, I look up online on how to, like, fix this, and people are like, replace the batteries. It didn't come with batteries. It's It has a built-in rechargeable. <laughs> oh, no. So, um... I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. I couldn't return it, so I just I sold it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the controller just it just it pisses me off because I'm like, this is like we we went to GameStop and we were like, okay, here's the Xbox section, uh, third party, third party, third party, third party, wired, 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 wired. Does Microsoft make any controllers anymore? Right. And they were like, yeah, we have the uh, Elite series, and I was like, those are hell expensive. And, Blake was being so generous. He was like, "No, oh, I got you, dog," <laughs> and wow. he paid for it. And I was like, "I love you." <laughs> right. um, so he uh, bought me the controller, and yeah, I only had it for like a month. It pisses me off because I was like, "That's what you're making, Microsoft? Seriously?" And my brother, my brother's talking about getting the Elite Series Two, and I'm like, "Are you sure about that?" <laughs> yeah. Because if if the one crapped out on me, who's gonna who's to say the two isn't gonna do the same thing? Yeah. But supposedly the two is better than the one, so maybe it will do better. But I'm not spending 200 bucks to figure that out, that's for sure. Yeah, no, on a controller. Yeah, on a controller, let alone. It, it, the prices of these things are so ridiculous, because it's like 60 bucks for a controller, 60 bucks for a game, $500 for a console. It's like, bruh. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was trying to just find, like, Black Ops 2, like, and they're all, like, 20 bucks, and I'm like, they're 20 to like 60 bucks and I'm like why is this game so, still like expensive disc or digital uh disc disc yeah if you go on like the uh Microsoft store uh -huh. um there's still uh, Black Ops 2 I'm pretty sure it's still 40 bucks even Black Ops 1 yeah that's why I think I got a steal with the uh the, I got a like a double version of Black Ops 1 and 2 yeah and it was only like 30 bucks I think yeah we have Black Ops 1 and it works fine so that's why I don't want to buy the other one the, the, the double pack, but fucking, it just won't, like, the game, so Black Ops 2, we've just played it so much and it's so messed up. We've gone through two Black Ops games now, <laughs> so we have to get another one, so I was, like, trying to find it, and there's, like, this game store that's in Port Orchard in that, the South Kitsap Mall, you know what I'm talking about? No. So it's, like, um, they call it, like, the town square now. If, if, if you live in Port Richard or if you've been there, like, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it's this little mall, and we call it the Dead Mall. And there's, like, a bunch of stores in it. There's actually a really cool pizza place and stuff. But in this in this mall, there's this store, and it's, like, they have, like, a whole bunch of games and stuff, and it's all really cheap, so we're trying to buy it there. But it's like, yeah, I've sold 30 copies of Black Ops 2 <laughs> because they, uh, they re... Um, they re-uploaded the servers or whatever so you can play like on that multiplayer oh game. yeah 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 i heard about that yeah so everybody's like freaking out and buying it and i'm just like i just want to play local play with my family because yeah. they love that game yeah it just it sucks exactly i uh whenever i have friends over i'm just like let's just pop in what call of duty and play it yeah i i, I personally didn't grow up with online gameplay because we didn't have money <laughs> yeah same. so um you know Xbox Live and shit that that costed money, which we didn't have, so I'd never play online. I'd just play against bots or family members. Yep. Um, so going back, I kind of, you know, um, I never played Modern Warfare Two multiplayer, which is what people say was like the best multiplayer. And it's pretty. Whenever cool. I have friends over, I'm like, let's play that, because now that I'm playing it more and more, I'm like, damn, this is fun. I really wish I actually grew up in that area, which I, I did grow up in it, but I didn't grow up in it, you know. Yeah. Like, I knew Xbox Live was a thing, but I didn't get to experience that for myself. And there was even this yeah. video I watched of, uh, I don't know if you know the YouTuber's name, The Act Man, but he uh, posted reviews and whatnot. And one of the things he was doing was, like, a look back on what Xbox Live was. Mm -hmm. And I just remember, I just watching the video and seeing, like, all these kids freak out about dumb shit or roasting them, saying they had sex with your mom and whatnot. <laughs> and I was like, damn. 
I missed out. I could have been one of those kids. <laughs> yeah, I could have said all this horrible shit to people. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Good old days, man. I know, right? But Black Ops, Black Ops One was really the first multiplayer game that I really started playing because I like I like the idea of like having bots to go up against and I can set their difficulty. You can't. There's no bots in that one, though. There is. In Black Ops One. Yeah. What? Yeah. How do you get them? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're playing the unupdated version. Yeah. Because you, know, you said you don't have Wi-Fi, right? No. Yeah, no, you can't. You gotta update it first if you want to play with bots. Shit, I didn't know that. Yeah. I'm missing out. A little unfun, but. Yeah, I have the OG like just basic bones version. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can still like do some glitches that were patched in the update. Yeah, that's why you showed me that. Yeah. <laughs> that, that table these. glitch. I love doing that shit. <laughs> Me and my brother tried to do that, and like we had the like, they had like the logistics of it down, but we couldn't figure it out. So you have, you have to come over sometime and show it to us. All right. Yeah. Might just do that. Um. Yeah, man. Yeah, Black Ops was such a good game. How, did you ever play the fourth one? Fourth one? No. Me either. What didn't, about the third didn't one? care for it. Uh, third one I did play and that one sucked. <laughs> <laughs> I like the multiplayer in it, but the campaign was like super weird. Really? I don't know. I, I didn't like anything about it. I tried the multiplayer, was like, this sucks. Tried the zombies, I was like, this sucks. Tried the campaign, was like, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. the fuck, Treyarch? I know, Treyarch is like, they're, they're super good, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. We accidentally bought that in my mom's account. <laughs> So we just have it now, so we play it all the time. Nice. But yeah, I think you told me about that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, how'd you get Black Ops 3? It's like, oh, we um, accidentally bought it. <laughs> 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 accidentally buy a game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, she was, like, looking mad about that for a while, but it's all good. It's all good. Got a pair of back. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, I don't know. In recent years, though, I've... I missed out on Vanguard, which I'm told I dodged a bullet there. Uh, and the most recent one that came out, Modern Warfare 2, mm-hmm. or Mon- some people call it Modern Warfare 2022, because, you know, it's a remake of the original, you yeah, know, whatever. Yeah. Um, I was a little disappointed in that one, honestly. Really? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I love the original Modern Warfare series. Yeah. And Modern Warfare 2019, I was really excited for it. I was like, cool we get to see price and all the games back together and Mm -hmm. this is gonna be epic and i played it and i was like who wrote this (laughs) (laughs) so so you're talking about the new so so tell me what they did because i know they remastered the original modern warfare what's the difference between that one and the newest one okay so they remastered the graphics so the remastered one it's yeah. just new graphics, and then... Uh, I have both of them, actually. Because I have that one right there, the Infinite Warfare. Totally. <laughs> yeah, so I have Infinite Warfare, and because I think Keenan bought from you or something. Yeah, so I have so this one. So they just remastered the graphics on this one, mm-hmm. and then they did it again. Um, this one they did uh, both campaign and multiplayer. Yeah. And then, like, a couple years later, they did uh, Modern Warfare 2, but they only did the campaign, which some people are very displeased about. But they said, yeah. sorry, we're just going to focus on Warzone, which is okay. Because, you know, like I said, I didn't really care for them look at that time. Um, yeah. But I really wish they would they would have remastered uh, Spec Ops, which was the uh, like other kind of mode there was to play. And you could do co-op and whatnot on that shit. Yeah, I love that one. And then in 2019, they decided to just remake it entirely. So this is a complete reboot of the series. Huh. And in 2022, there was a follow-up, and it was yeah. Modern Warfare 2. And um, I just remember Modern Warfare 2 having all these memorable moments and awesome characters, that big betrayal scene. Yeah. And then 2022 was just like, here's the betrayal scene. It's so anticlimactic and boring. <laughs> oh, all week. Yeah. That sucks, man. I should, I should probably try to play those, but... Yeah, that's. I just I don't have the money to buy them, so I gotta figure out something. But get a job. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, that's crazy. So overall, what's your opinion? On. On those, on like the old ones versus the new ones. Oh, the old ones are so much better. Like I'm sorry, but <laughs> these follow-up ones have been not great. I mean, 
2019 was okay to me. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just okay. And when 2022 came out, I was like, okay, maybe they did a better job with this one, right? Yeah. And I was like, nope, <laughs> they didn't. But people still speak highly of it. I'm like, why? And I guess it has a good multiplayer, which is okay, but I'm not much for multiplayer, so. Yeah. That's why I'm just really disappointed in uh, how these games have come out so far. Yeah. Yeah. But do you think, did you ever play Cold War? Cold War? Yeah. I love that one. Yeah. I didn't that get a one, chance to play that one. I, I was really disappointed to hear just how many people just hate that game, because that one, like, it was a return to Black Ops, you know, the old school Black Ops, I felt like. Okay. And playing it with, like, new features mixed in with, like, an epic story with side quest, which I was like, wow. dude, what? Something else instead of just playing the main story? Which you, you don't even have to do those missions. You can just skip them entirely. You'll have, you might not get the best ending, but you can still skip them. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, playing uh, Cold War, I thought it was really good. And I was really displeased to hear, like, oh, yeah, people say it sucked. Why? Uh, the multiplayer was unbalanced. Okay, what else? Yeah. Just, any... just the multiplayer being unbalanced. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. But the rest of the game is pretty good, I think. Uh, Zombies was a little bland, but I still thought it was like, it was an, it got an okay in my book. So. Yeah, there you go. Oh. Yeah, man. I just remembered something. I got a gift for you. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. That is sick. <laughs> As the gigs wanted. You probably can't read it. Thanks, sir. Mm-hmm. That's dope. I'll put it in my pocket. Put it on. I don't know who's there right now. That's wild. Been a mess since we've done the gigs, huh? Yeah. You know that bar that Warren's though for him? Yeah. Yeah. What? Which one? Do you remember which one that was? Uh, it's the one there in Belfair. Huh. Although there's so many in Belfair, and it was narrowed down. Yeah, I know. A bunch of al- alcoholics. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I don't, I don't remember which part it was exactly, but, um, yeah, we got there and they were like, oh, well, you're just a bunch of kids, you can't have you perform here, like, yeah, yeah. what, what do you think, how old we were? Right, we all looked like we were fucking funny, yeah, no, we were like, what, like, 17? Yeah. At the time? Yeah. That's right. That's so funny. Yeah, I got the band back together, too, so, and Blake's back in Washington, right? Uh, for now, I don't know if he's gonna be going back soon or not. Yeah, he said he'd come over and play, but I haven't, you know, I haven't gotten a hold of him in a little bit, so I gotta hit him up. Yeah, I gotta hit him too, cause we need to make that video, sir. Uh, Blake, if you're watching this, hit us up. Yeah. <laughs> cause um, uh, a video I, I released recently was called a five dollar bad game challenge, mm-hmm. which is a, a video that another YouTuber came up with. I'm not the original maker of that idea, but I just I want to do it. Because I thought it was cool. Yeah. And uh, I was originally planning to do it with uh, Blake at first. But then, uh, you know, he, he went to Arizona. So we didn't get a chance to do it then. And then um, I was going to do it with another friend, Nathan. Yeah. And uh, he kept canceling out on me. And I was like, bro. <laughs> and yeah. then finally uh, landed on Ethan. He was like, yeah, I'll do it, friend. And uh, we went to, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of Big Red's Games there in Silverdale. No. We went there, uh, couldn't find any games for under $5. Oh, and then we went to uh, GameStop and we found two games. And uh, I, I think my pro membership got us like, we get both games just for $3, exactly. Damn. And I was like, hell yeah. Pays to be a pro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It sure does. So were the games horrible? You know, I haven't played any of them yet. Actually, no, that's not true. I played... The, one of the games I got was... Uh, what was it? Battlefront. Yeah, the, the, the remake of Battlefront. <laughs> um, which I've played before, and I, I think it's an okay game. I don't think it's bad or anything, but it's certainly missing a lot of content. Yeah. Um, and then... He got Dishonored. I don't know if he's... Pl- I don't think he's played it yet, because I'm pretty sure he doesn't... He got it for the PS4, which he doesn't have. So I was like, <laughs> why did you get this? <laughs> Um, and That's then funny. I got uh, another game called uh, Da Vinci Code for the PS2. Yeah. Um, which has a very low score, but uh, not a. I haven't played it yet either, so. Yeah. That's there are a lot of games that I would mean to just take out and play. 
Yeah. But, you know, I'm always like, hmm, I can play one of these other games, or I can play the game where I play 300 times. <laughs> game I'll play 300 times. Yeah. You always go with that. It's like, mm. Yeah. We, we don't have, like, a whole lot of... So, I really like the Xbox One, but we don't have a whole lot of games for it. So, like, I'll literally do this thing where I'll, like, turn on the Xbox One, and then just, like, sit there and, like, look at the games and be like, I don't want to play any of this. Well, don't you have some, like, original Xbox games? Yeah. You could play those. Okay, yeah, that's right. As long as they're uh, backwards compatible. Some of them, like I said, aren't yet. Okay. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to give that a try. It's been a while since I've done that. Do you ever, do you ever play this game? It's called Odd World Munch's Odyssey. No, I don't think I've heard of it. It's fucking weird, but it's awesome. It's like, it's I can't even explain it. You'll just have to come over sometime and we'll have to play it. All right. Yeah, it's like, it's like one of the, the OG co-op games, and yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Like it's something my uncle had, or but I think he I think he bought it, but we have it. This was the original Xbox, and it's just it's wild. The game is so weird. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's a good one. Um, obviously, we have Halo, and Halo Two. You have to get a new Halo 2, because does your Halo 2 ever do this thing where it's like, these maps won't work? And it just like, it'll like load up and then it'll say, it can't work? Mm, don't think so. No? Huh. It was like a map pack for it, but it's like being weird and every time we try to play these certain maps, it just like, says no. Only like certain maps? Yeah. It might be you just don't have the DLC or whatever. Uh, no, it's like maps that are like in the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then yeah, then that's weird. Yeah, so we have to get a new Halo too. But yeah, we we like obliterated our Black Ops for some reason. Like we just played it so much that it's like, no, you can't play this anymore. It's the law, so. Yeah, it's like no. Yeah, I feel like you can't have an Xbox and not have Halo. Yeah, right. It's, just, it's unbalanced. It's a sin. <laughs> it's a cardinal sin. I grew up on that game, bro, like... Hell yeah. Great so, game. Yeah, I said to my brother, like... I just remember always having it, like... My dad would come out of band practice for a little bit, play some Halo, and then, like, go back and make more music, so... Hmm. That's, like, how I'm trying to be. Yeah. Growing up, I remember me and Stefan, Brother Dawes, uh, used to, uh, play through every single one co-op. And yep. then Halo 5 came out, and then it wasn't co-op. <sighs> Yeah, I was disappointed with that campaign. Yeah. Have you tried Halo Infinite yet? Yeah, I, I played it, finished it. Is it good? Streamed it. Uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Huh. I definitely think it was a great follow-up to uh, what that disaster of Halo 5 was. <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, I'm a little disappointed because uh, like um, 343 was saying, like, oh, we're going to add all these great things. There's mm-hmm. going to be split-screen co-op and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff that they promised. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, forever ago, they were like, hey, we're actually not going to deliver on all that because it's too much work. And I was like, oh, fucking, geez. you promised this, and now you're going back on your promise. That's a dick fucking move. That is a dick move. All you're going to do with that is just piss off the community. And sure enough, the community was pissed. And I was like, see yeah. what you guys did? You're killing Halo right now. <laughs> this is your fault? Yep. Um... But I guess you can do online co-op now, which is okay, but, I mean, I grew up internet. with split-screen co-op. Right. So I love that shit. It, it fills me with so much joy to just play a game split-screen with Yeah. Because it's like, hell yeah, I grew up with this shit. And nowadays it's like, well, you can do it online. Like, no, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to do it online, because then I have to be, like, somewhere else with a different Xbox just to play with somebody else. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. No, dude, I hear you. I hate that shit. I don't even have Wi-Fi at my house yet, and I think we're supposed to get it, like, I think next year. Next year, nice. Yeah, right? See what I mean? It's like, uh, it just sucks. Yeah, Brother Dawes just got his house in Texas, and yeah. he's going to be without Wi-Fi until the 10th. Oh, wow. And I'm like, damn, how are you going to live? <laughs> right? How are you going to live? Uh, the same way I've been living for 21 years. <laughs> Horribly. No, I'm just kidding. But... Yeah. Wi-Fi is pretty essential. Wouldn't you usually just connect your hotspot, though? Yeah, that's what I usually do, and it takes, like, the forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I remember, like, one time I was over, and you were using your mom's hotspot or whatever. Yep. Trying to download a game, and it took, like... Three days. Yeah, three days or something <laughs> like that, because it just 
took so long. Yep. That's that's my house, dude. Verizon. Okay. Yeah. It's like I don't know if you have Verizon or not, that was a guess. What? I don't know if you have Verizon or not, that I was do. just a guess. I do have Verizon. Oh, nice. Yeah, I finally so something that happened with me was I got some of my bills paid for by my people that are helping me out. And uh, I had a $465 Verizon bill, <laughs> and it wasn't even, like, for my phone. It was for somebody else's. Mm. You catch my drift. Uh, I think I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I was paying off other people's bills, and it just sucks. But, yeah, Verizon, it took us, like, four times on the phone to just get confirmation that I actually paid it. So, yeah, Verizon's frustrating. Do you, do you have Verizon? No, I got AT&T. Oh, they suck, too. Yeah. But for different reasons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you get like no service anywhere. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I mean, when I first like got my phone, we had Sprint, uh-huh. which I don't know if you guys ever heard of that because it went out of business like years ago. They did. Or they yeah. didn't really go out of business. They got bought by uh, T-Mobile. Yeah. And they merged. Now, when you think these two companies merge, you think the phone service will get better, <laughs> but instead it didn't. <laughs> Somehow they fucked it up and made it even worse. Yep. So, we had to transition from Sprint to T-Mobile, uh-huh. and we're like, okay, now surely our phones will work, and they didn't. <laughs> yep. Um, it got so bad to the point where we would be at the house here, uh-huh. and um, we had this little like booster thing in our house. It's supposed to be able to connect to the Wi-Fi or something. I don't know how exactly it works, but yeah. it's supposed to be able to boost our signal so we can get phone calls and text from here, Yeah. our own house. And I had missed out on what pissed me off so much, and this is like, I think this was my turning point for like getting rid of T-Mobile, mm-hmm. was I was applying for like so many jobs, and at one point I left the house, went down the town, and I finally got service again, and I saw I had three missed calls, and all of them were from uh, employers who were like, hey, you want to have an interview with you? I'm like, is it still too late? Like, yes, it's too late. Yeah. And I just went, we're getting rid of T-Mobile. This is ridiculous. Yeah, that sucks, man. So... I don't, I don't know why we went with AT&T, but I think it's just because they were cheaper. But we went to Verizon first, and uh, I guess to be fair, they weren't very convincing with um, uh, their map, because like, you know, they show you a map of like where you'll get service and where you won't get service. Yeah. And we went up to like our area, they zoomed in, and they were like, um, I don't know if you'll get service there. <laughs> I was like, that's really reassuring. And then yeah. AT&T basically just said the same thing, but they were like, well, you're cheaper. And you'll give us the booster for free or whatever. So, go with AT and T. So, thankfully, they at least work at the house, which is more than happy for me because yeah, I won't be able to text and call from here instead of having to leave and go to town just to get a call. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, dude. Verizon. So, like, they cut down some of their three G towers a little bit ago, and it's made the service really awful. So, like, sometimes I'll be at my house, like. Like, I was on a phone call with one of the guys in my rap group the other day, and the call just dropped. And, it, and like, I instantly had, like, no bars. I had the little X, and it was, like, gone. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, yeah. why? I remember um, I was on the phone with the guy who uh, gave me the, uh, gave me the, sent me the 360. Uh-huh. And, because uh, it, it had been sent back for some reason. So I, like, called him up. I was like, do you have any idea what was sent back? Like, no. And, had this conversation he was like can you, I was like can you send it again he was like yeah sure um anyway uh, I was on the phone talking with him and then at least like took a step to the left and the call dropped and I was like what the fuck came mobile <laughs> yeah yeah that's horrible so dumb yeah our, our signal is bad now like phone service has gone down down the fucking drain yeah have you heard of a uh, cricket though yeah yeah, I remember I went camping with a friend of mine, and uh, at the campsite, I had no service whatsoever. But for some reason, he was getting service. And I was like, how is it this phone service i never heard of gets service and I don't? <laughs> right. Yeah, there's maybe, mobile now, too. Maybe that's the secret, is they use crickets to boost the signal. <laughs> of course. Yes, that's that's what it is. Hell yeah. We figured it out. Crack the code. <laughs> FBI comes knocking on my door. Yeah, they're like... <laughs> We're giving away our secrets, bro. <laughs> it's time to arrest you. Yeah. If you got a slap cut on me, I'm gonna have to call you daddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 
And I think with that, we'll end the live stream or end the uh, Donscast episode. So, there you go. thank you very much, Death Cat, for joining me again. No problem. Uh, hopefully, the audio for this episode works. Um, yeah. Nothing goes wrong with technology, right? <laughs> right? Right? All right. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe to You'll see more episodes every Thursday. Um, if anyone uh, from the uh, Discord is watching, please be sure to join me for future episodes because I'm tired of the excuse of, oh, message me on Snapchat. Oh, message me on Messenger. You're in the group chat. Check the group chat. <laughs> Check the group chat. Anyway, that's it. See you all next time. Thank you guys for joining.